Good evening, welcome. Welcome to Yoga with Liza, day 23. I'm going to send out some quick invitations and I'm signing on late, so I'm doing the invitations so people can find me. Um, it's Tuesday night and it's not raining the net, but it's Tuesday night and I'm for yoga. And I'm going to say hello, Ricky, Tommy. Michael, and Ethel, you're there. Awesome. Dorothy, good to see you. Hi, Cindy. I sent you an invite, too. So, signing on a little bit later than I typically do. Um, so, recapping. This is day 23 of Yoga with Liza. And... So 23 days ago, I made a decision that while we were doing social distancing and uh, isolation, however we're going to call this, that I was going to air a yoga class every night. And so regardless of what gym you are, how much money you have, um, whoever you are, you have access to a yoga class. This is um, a public page and I share what I have with everybody. Um, especially starting out at the beginning with my grandchildren. So as always, I will say hello, Henry, Cora, Wyatt, Ricky, and Angelo. And tonight is the full moon. And we have generations of farmers in our family. Um, my son's grandfather used to farm um, what was once called the Newtown Industrial Commons, where um, NAC is optimal sport. Um, 45 years ago, that was all fields. And their grandfather used to help a man named Mr. Belkey uh, farm that property. And so my sons went out when they were ooh, wee little ones and they did learn how to do some hay baling. And their father has taught them some farming. My father has taught them some farming. And so in this time, they've all been planting. And so a new moon is for planting seeds and the full moon is for harvest. So our seeds can be an idea or an action, not just the physical seeds of a plant that you're planting. And I have to say that all of my sons have a pretty good green thumb as well and their sons are all learning and so full moon though in yoga in a strict ashtanga practice they say no yoga on a very strict full moon I modify that and on the full moon I do moon salutations and my first responder friends who are on my page and doctors and nurses and techs and cleaning people will all agree with me that on the full moon um, things happen. More babies are born and so forth. So to calm ourselves in our yoga practice on a full moon makes sense, right? It does to me. So for the kids, we're going to start standing up and I'm going to do a gentle version of a moon salutation. Adults, feel free to join in. And so with, I also want to credit my friend 
um, Billy Joe Bob, and I shared her post earlier about ways to help the caregiver stay together. And that's a part of these presentations for me is taking care of the caregivers. And part of my yoga practice going way, way back. It's also a way for me to connect with my grandchildren and the children in my neighborhood. And because this is the time where feelings and emotions come up and we may not understand them, our yoga practice is a way to release those feelings and emotions from our bodies to help us feel better. And right now I'm doing an indoor practice. So, okay kids, ready? First thing, we have to smile. Patty, I'm gonna draw a mask, a smile on my mask that I wear out to the mailbox. I haven't done it yet. So, great big smile. Inhale, bring our arms up overhead. Gently arch over to the left. Inhale back through center, come over to the right, coming back to center. Bring our hands wide, step wide, feel our star pose. Bring our hands back over, bring our right toes to the right, hinge forward and come into triangle. Breathing into it. Inhale, bring that hand down. Bring both hands down to the ground and come into standing pyramid. Plant that left hand, bring the right arm up. Bring the right arm down, move that back foot so you have room to come up into warrior three. Hands can be at heart center, hands can be straight out at front, hips are level, knee is soft. Exhale, step back, bring ourselves back around, feel our star pose, bring our heels in, come down, feel our goddess. Inhale up, star, step to the back of the mat, bring our hands arch over to the right, come back through center, arch over to the left, come back to center, step wide, feel star, bring the left toes around, hinge forward, and come up into our triangle breath. Bring that top hand towards the mat, bring the back foot around, standing pyramid, breathing into it. Plant the right hand, pick the left hand up. Bring the left hand down, step back, Pick up that back foot. Warrior three. Hands can be straight out in front. Maybe you make a soaring eagle. Step that back foot back. Come back around. Feel our star pose. Bring our heels in. Come down. Feel our goddess. Inhale. Come all the way up. Star pose. Step back to the front of the mat. Bring our arms up. Arch over to the left. Inhale up. Come back over to the right. Come back to center. Bring the hands back through heart center. Tadasana. Great big audible sigh. <sighs> okay, now, Ricky, this is for you, little Ricky. Big Ricky, I wore the shirt for you. My son went to Las Vegas and all I got was a shirt. Inhale, bring the arms up. Peel the banana, peel the banana. Run, 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 run. Come on, back to center. One more time, inhale up. 
Peel the banana, peel the banana. Run, 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 run. Bring our feet back down. One more time. We're gonna come through a moon salutation. Ready? Step up, come back to the front. Arch over to the side, come back through center. Arch over to the side. Inhale up, step wide, feel star pose. Bring the heels in, come into goddess. Inhale, come up, bring that right toe around. Reach forward, come into triangle. This time, inhale, come back up, bend that front knee, bring that hand over, warrior two, reverse, bring the hand down, easy side angle, bring the hand to the mat, runner's lunge, bring those fingers around, feel our runner's lunge, plant that left hand, Pick the right hand up, bring the right hand down, pick the left hand up, bring the hand down to the mat, come down on the knees, inhale up, crescent lunge, exhale, bring the hands back to the mat, wide lunge, now grown ups, Ethel, stay up here, okay? gentle on the knee. Come back, toes come up. Remember only to your feel good edge. Bring the toes back down. Walk the hands over. Feel our wide leg lunge. Bring the toes up. Great big audible sigh. <sighs> come on back to center. Bring our heels in as we roll it up. Goddess. Inhale, star. Step to the back of the mat. Hands come up. Arch over one way. Arch back over the other way. Hands come back through heart center. Step wide. Feel star pose. Breath. Bring that left foot around. Reach forward. Feel our triangle. Inhale, come back up, bend that front knee. Palms come up, knees open, warrior two. Reverse our warrior. Exhale. Easy side angle. Bringing our hands to the mat. Runner's lunge. Gently walk the hands around to the side. Feel that wide leg. Walk the hands all the way back over. Long leg. Again, come back to center. Bring the knees in. Roll it up, come up into goddess pose. Inhale up, star pose. Step back to the front of the mat. Bring the hands up overhead. Come to one side. Bring the hands back over, coming to the other side. Bringing the hands back to center, to dasana. Okay, now, Bringing our hands all the way up. Bringing the hands back to heart center. And gently make a loose weave with the hands. And gently cover our hearts. So in moon salutations, we can also be doing a meditation of gratitude and or forgiveness all of which are part of our heart as we breathe into it.
gently release our hands down by our side. Bring that right ear to the right shoulder. Gently look down at the mat, breathing into it. Inhale back through center. Bring the left ear to the left shoulder. Gently look down at the mat. Inhale back through center, bringing our chin to chest, shoulders back and down. Inhale, look up to the ceiling. Open and close, open and close, close the mouth and swallow. This is so good for our thyroid. Gently bringing the chin to chest. So many people with thyroid issues bringing our hands into mm -hmm. our center. Bringing our palms out. Gently mm -hmm. twist mm -hmm. to the right. Come on back through center and twist over to the left. Mm -hmm. Bringing our hands all the way back through center to the right. Bringing the hands all the way through center to the left. One more time with the breath all the way around. Take it to our edge. Gently bring the arms all the way back around the other way. Come back to center. Bring our hands into heart center. Gently roll the shoulders back and around back and around. Now inhale, bring our arms up. Come up onto our tippy toes. Feel our stretch from side to side. This is mm -hmm. one of my most favorite stretches, side to side. Gently bring the heels down. Bring the hands, come into our chair. And exhale, bring the hands all the way back behind. And then from here, come up on our tippy toes and feel our diver's pose. Breathing into it. Bring the heels down. Bring the arms back up. Come all the way up. Again, arching from side to side. Gently climbing that rope. Breathing into it. One more time. Bend the knees, come into our chair. Bring the hands all the way back behind. Exhale, come as low as you go on your tippy toes. Maybe you hold halfway, honor yourself. Okay, just checking that I'm not getting urgent messages telling me about the sound or something. Bring the heels to the mat. Inhale, bring it all the way back up. Come all the way back up on the tippy toes. Reach from side to side. Climb the rope. Climb the rope. Gently bring the hands back to our side. Shoulders up and around. Another style of moon salutations. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, come into squat. Now maybe you take your sofa cushion and put that under your knees as you come back. If your knees are tender, um, maybe you roll your mat over a couple of times or use a second mat. And we're going to inhale and come up, crescent lunge, heart opener, breath. Exhale, bring that left knee back as well. Bring our hands back behind, gentle camel. A full camel is when we bring our hands all the way back to our heels. However, for many people without a lot of prep work that can be a very intense stretch so that's why we do a gentle camel exhale 
bring ourselves all the way down, bring the hands out in front. Inhale, bring it all the way back up. Gentle camel. I like bringing my hands behind. Some people keep them overhead. Hands come to heart center, bringing the right foot out in front. Inhale, bringing the arms up. Exhale, step forward into our squat. You can bring your hands to the mat. Straighten the legs. Forward fold. Gently roll up one vertebrae at a time. Hands come back overhead. Tadasana. I've heard this many times since, but I had a woman who once said to me, between here and New Hope, and there is a town called New Hope, um, about 40 minutes away from where I live, and she said, how many different ways can you get from here to New Hope? And as I thought about it, there's all probably a good 50 ways between her house and New Hope to go, and maybe some that I didn't know about. But guess what? They all got me to New Hope. Inhale, bring the arms up overhead. Exhale, come on down. Bending the knees, coming into squat. So the whole point is bring that left foot back. Bring that knee down into the mat. Inhale up, crescent lunge. There's more than one correct way to do things. Bring that foot back gently. Baby camel. More than one way that'll work. Exhale, come on back down. This time I'm keeping my hands behind in wisdom fold. Inhale, come all the way back up. Gentle camel. Bring the hands to heart center or to the mat as you step that left foot forward. Feel our crescent lunge. Step forward and come into our squat. Bring our hands to the mat, heels to the mat, gentle forward fold. Inhale, roll all the way up, gentle back bend. Hands come through heart center to dasana. All right, we're going to come all the way through, and this time take your modifications. I'm going to move through just a little bit quicker. One breath, one movement. Inhale, exhale. Hands behind for wisdom. Two breaths here. Inhale up. Gentle back bend. Foot comes forward. Crescent lunge. Squat. Hands to the mat. Forward fold, inhale, bring it all the way up. Hands come through heart center, Tadasana. Inhale, exhale. Left foot back, crescent lunge. Hands to heart center. Gentle camel. Exhale. Two breaths in wisdom. Inhale. 
Inhale, gentle camel. Hands to heart center. Crescent lunge. Hands to heart center. Step forward. Squat. Hands to the mat. Straighten the legs. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Arms come up and over. Hands come back through heart center. Tadasana. All right. So we're going to work ourselves into warrior three, warrior three to half moon as we step back out into the next version of moon salutations. Now, maybe you have your block, and if you choose to take a drink through practice, please always feel free to do so. I don't prompt drink breaks. Tonight, I'm gonna take a little drink. It's my chai tea. Now, in coming, Warrior three, okay. Many different versions of warrior three. Our hands, we can keep them at heart center. We can bring them out for eagle. We can bring them up overhead, palms together, fingers out. Traditional warrior three. So as we bring the right foot back behind, gently pick that right foot up and as we hinge forward, flat back, and this may be our warrior three. Maybe you use the blocks or the back of a chair in modification of your warrior three. Now from warrior three coming into half moon, the left arm is out in front, we bring the right arm up and the right toes come and we're opening that right hip, breathing into it. And maybe you can do this as a full core pose and it's okay to come in and out of balance here and level the hips back off Bring that right foot to the mat. Come up into your chair. Standing cat-cow. Gently cat-cow. Cat-cow. Now bring ourselves. I'm going to come to the other side. So we're going to shift our weight into that right foot. Hinge forward. Now level off maybe we use our blocks maybe you have your hands on the wall maybe heart center maybe straight out in front bring that right hand to the mat bring the left hand up Maybe you can shift your gaze and look up to your left hand. So like in sailboat, shifting the gaze increases the intensity of the pose. Maybe you continue looking at the mat and you can balance in solid core. Level the hips back off. Bring that left foot in. Come back to our chair, standing cow, cat, cow, cat, cow. Bring the hands together, inhale, come all the way up. Bring the arms all the way out and around. So I'm gonna leave a block on either end of the mat and so that I'm supported in my half moon. And we're gonna start with the gentle version, and then we're gonna repeat a little more intense, a little more intense, a little more intense. 
you can continue doing the gentle version. Honor your knees, okay? Hands come to heart center. Yes, Ethel, that was for you. Inhale, bring the arms up. Arch over to the left. Inhale, back through center. Arch over to the right. Come back to center. Step wide, feel our star pose. Gently bring the toes to the right. Reach forward, come up, triangle, breath. Bring that left hand to the mat and come around, standing pyramid. So our hips are squared off, that front knee is straight. Breathing into it. Left hand to the mat, pick that right arm up breath. Now, maybe your room's bigger than mine and you don't have to move your foot back. I'm moving my foot back for space reasons as I inhale up and come up into warrior three. I know some of you have small places like I do. Gently exhale, bring that foot back down. Inhale up, come back around. Star pose, breath. Gently bring the left foot around, reach behind, come forward, and come up and feel our triangle. Breath. Exhale, bring the hands to the mat, come back around, come into our standing pyramid. Front knee is soft but straight, and maybe use the blocks in your pyramid. Plant the right hand, pick the left hand up. Bring the left hand down, step up into our warrior three. And again, maybe you're using the wall or the back of a chair or the blocks. Bring that back foot down, come back out, star pose. Bring the heels in, feel our goddess. Inhale up, star. Step back to the front of the mat, arms up overhead. Arch over to one side, arch over to the other side. Hands at our side, great big audible sigh. <sighs> Sighs are cooling breaths. All right, we're gonna go through that one now. One breath, one movement. Inhale up, arch, arch, step wide, star, breath, toes, breath. Reach, Trikonasana, breath. Standing pyramid, breath. Left hand to the mat, right hand up, breath. Hands come to the mat, bring the right foot back. Inhale up, warrior three. Step that foot back, star pose. Step to the back of the mat, arch to the right, arch to the left. Step wide, star. Bring the toes around, reach forward, triangle. Exhale, bring the hands down, come back around. Pyramid, breath. Inhale, up. Warrior three, bring that back foot back, bring ourselves up, star, bring the heels in, goddess, inhale back up, star, step to the front of the mat, arch over to the left, the right, hands back to heart center, Tadasana. Now, we're gonna take it up a notch. Ready? 
inhale up arch over to one side bring it back arch over to the other side come back step wide star pose heels in goddess come back star left toes around triangle inhale back up warrior two right palm up reverse the warrior right hand down easy side angle exhale bring the hands to the mat low lunge plant the left hand pick the right arm up bring the right arm down pick the left arm up bring the left arm down step it up and feel our warrior three bring the right hand to the block or the core as we open half moon level the hips back off step back bring that knee to the mat inhale up crescent lunge exhale both hands to the inside feel our wide leg lunge gently walk the hands back to the other side pick the toes up wide leg lunge come back to center bring the heels in inhale up goddess one side other side inhale star step it back arch over to the left arch over to the right bring it wide star pose left toe comes around reach back behind come forward triangle bend the knee warrior two reverse the warrior left elbow comes down easy side angle bringing ourselves around coming into lunge plant the right hand pick it up the left bring the left hand down pick up the right bring the right hand down step it up warrior three block or solid core as you open it into half moon bring the hands back to center level the hips step back through lunge bring that back knee to the mat inhale up crescent lunge bring the hands back to the inside gently come over to one side walk the hands come all the way back over to the other side breath bring the heels in at wide leg fold plant the left hand bring the right hand up bring the right hand down pick the left hand up bring the left hand down bring the heels in bring it up goddess maybe Ethel you hold here everyone who wishes come across come across come back inhale up star step back to the front of the mat bring the arms up overhead arch over to one side arch back over to the other side hands come through heart center Tadasana. Okay, give yourself a round of applause. That's a good one. Bring the feet in, come all the way down. Let's feel our wide leg squat. 
coming. Breath. Bring our hands, bring the toes in. We're going to do our lion modification. This is where the people who do bar have an edge. If you bring the soles of the feet together so that the heels are touching and bring the hands to the mat, maybe bring the fingertips back around towards us and shoulders back and down. And then we're gonna stick out our tongue and lion's breath roar. And again, great big inhale in, lion's breath roar. Now one more, maybe you pick the hands up in balance and roar. This pose is where you let go of everything that you can't talk about. Bring your hands to the mat and gentle arm balance in crow. So bring the knees in, hinging forward, picking your toes up. If you know the way to go, feel free to go. I'm going to demo the gentle version tonight of coming on to the back. And we're going to bring the soles of the feet up to the ceiling, bring the palms up, lift the head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat, and breathe into it. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring the soles of the feet together. Feel this gentle cobbler. Breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knees together. Give ourselves a hug. Breathing into it. Five, four, three, two, one. Now gently roll over onto the right side. Pause. Gently push ourselves up one vertebrae at a time. Coming back around. Now those of you who have been coming to my class for a long time, you know that I do rock and rolls in the morning because the rock and rolls build your energy. Coming into our cobbler, bring our hands back behind. Tuck the tailbone under. Nighttime classes, I roll onto the side and come up gently and slowly. Unless, of course, you're working night shift tonight. And then if you're working night shift tonight, do all the rock and rolls you choose because that'll help keep you up through the night. So I had a, a friend who's also a nurse, but she wasn't working night shift. And she did the rock and rolls, and it was about 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. And 4 o'clock in the morning, she's on Facebook saying, I didn't believe it, and here I am at 4 o'clock in the morning, wide awake. Gently come forward, and we're simply going to take our hands underneath and make lotus flowers, and then bring our feet up and come up balancing into a lotus flower, bringing the feet in, the hands are underneath, and feeling this breath, gentle, mindful. Bringing the knees in together, give ourselves a hug. Bringing the left leg out in front, bring that right leg in, and by the way, those balance poses with our warrior threes and half moons, we did our core work. Bringing our right hand forward and reaching forward. So the one night I did a solid core practice, I think I'll probably do that later in the week again. Bring that right hand down and gently wrap it around and bring the left hand back behind looking back over the left shoulder, breathing into it. Inhale, come back up. Hug that left, right leg with the left arm and look back over the shoulder. 
and this may be our edge. Now maybe you bring that right foot over the left foot and come a little deeper into the twist. Maybe that hand comes in a stop sign hand and we breathe into it. Bringing our head back to center, gently bringing our knees into our chest, gently bring that right foot out, bring the left knee in. Maybe you do that little pick me up and come on back down. Bring the left arm forward, reaching towards the leg, bring the thumb down, wrap the arms back around. Maybe coming into the bind. Again, this is a calming pose. Breathing into it. Inhale, bring it all the way back up. Wrap that right arm around. Bring the left arm back behind. Flex the toes, look back over the left shoulder and breathe into it. Now gently come back to center. Bring that left foot over. Lift up, come back down. Wrap the arms around, coming into the twist. Maybe your hand comes into a stop sign hand. Rest. Now, as we come back to center, we're going to take it one step deeper and bend that right leg back to the left hip, coming into half Lord of the Fishes. Bring that right foot to the mat, bring that hand around. Now, maybe you thread your hand through and you can come into the bind. Brandy, if you're watching, I know you can do the bind. Breathing into it. Maybe you still have that leg straight out in front. Remember to honor yourself in your practice. Yes, I give choices because we may not know how to modify our practice. So the choices are to help you come up with ways to make your practice work for you. Life is not one size fits all. Bring the hands back around. Gently pick up the sit bones, gently twist and come all the way back into half Lord of the Fishes on the other side. Breathing into this calming twist and maybe your arms here, maybe here, maybe you can come into the bind, you can thread that arm through. I need to lose some weight to come into the bind, but you know what? I'm still a good person and I'm happy that I'm healthy. So I'm okay where I am. Breath. Come on back to center. Now, gently, maybe you can stack your knees for cow face. So we're gonna bring the knees over top of each other. Maybe that left leg needs to come out in front and so the pinky side of the top foot comes to the mat. Maybe the pinky side of the bottom foot is on the mat. Maybe you're modifying like me. Bring that left arm up, gently come into the bend. And this is maybe where we hold. Maybe that hand comes back behind, breathing into it. Feel the breath. Gently release that hand out, tuck that foot back in. If it works, maybe you uncross and recross, or maybe you bring your hands around to the left and gently push up and do that yoga turnaround. And Brittany, 
Polar. Yeah. Anyway, she's the one who taught me the yoga. Turn around, bring the toes into the mat, bring the hands up and over. Gently bring that hand, bring the opposite hand back behind. Maybe the hands come into the bind and they're connected. Maybe you're holding your shirt, breathing into it. Either way, you're still a good person. And that's what counts. Kindness. Feeling good at the end of the practice. Maybe we have perfect poses, maybe we don't. But feeling good that we gave it our best. And my best is good enough. Release that out gently. Bring the right foot out in front. Remember that your best is good enough. As long as you're trying your level best, the fact that you're out there and you're trying and you're doing this is awesome. Bring the sole of the foot to the mat. The ankle is coming onto the shin and gently walk ourselves down. And maybe we keep that right leg straight out in front as if it's pushing against the wall and the hands come back behind and our head comes down and we're doing a gentle version of pigeon pose on our back. Maybe the foot stays on the mat and we're gently pushing that left thigh open. First, first stage, as Monica would say. Second stage, maybe third stage. Maybe this foot comes into the crook of the arm and that leg comes down. Fourth stage, breathing into it. Bringing the knees back in, bring the right foot to the mat. Bring that left foot over to the right, that left arm out in a T. And gently feel the side twist, breathing into it. Bringing ourselves back through center. Bring the soles of the feet together. Gently let the knees come out and around. Out and around. Out and around. Bring the knees back around the other way. Back around the other way. And back around the other way. Breath. Bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Inhale up, come up into our bridge pose. Bring our hands underneath, breathing into it. Bring the palms up, exhale, come all the way down. Inhale, bring that right foot up, cross it onto the left thigh. And maybe we're gently pushing that right thigh open as we breathe into it. Second stage, maybe you come and bring the leg so that the hands are behind. Keep the head, neck, and shoulders in the mat. Straighten that right leg up to the ceiling. 
maybe the hand comes in the crook of the arm and you bring it down. So this is my side that's tender. Breathing into it. And so I modify the pose. That's okay. Maybe you're modifying. That's okay. Breath. Breathing the feel good. Bend that right knee. Bring the left foot to the mat. Bring the right arm out. Bring the left foot over. Gently opening. Breathing into it. Uncrossing, coming back to center, bring our knees in, give ourselves a hug, pick up our nose to our knees, gentle stretch, bring ourselves back down on the mat, bring the soles of the feet up, first stage, maybe you're holding the back of your thighs, if this is your edge, Second stage, maybe you hold your toes. Maybe you hold the outside of your feet. Third stage, maybe you come into tortoise on your back as the hands come through center and we wrap around the legs. Breathing into it. Bring the feet down wide. Let the knees come together. Bring the arms out in a T. Gently let the knees come over one way. Bring it back through center. Let the knees come over to the other side. Rest. Come back to center, bring the right knee in, bring the left leg out. And this may be right where you hold. Maybe now let that left leg come down to the mat, bring the right leg, right arm to the right, and the right leg comes over the left. Gently, left leg is straight, right leg is out. Gently feeling this heart opening spinal twist. Breathing into it. Bringing ourselves back through center. Gently, again, give ourselves a hug. Bring our nose up to our knees. Bring ourselves back down. Gently bring that right foot out and let it hover. Maybe you hold the knee, maybe not. Breathing and hovering. Bring the right foot to the mat. Bring that left knee over to the right. Bring that left arm out. Look back over the left shoulder. Feel this gentle spinal twist.
gently come back onto the back, bringing our knees into our chest one more time. Gently rock the spine from side to side. Maybe we pick our nose up to our knees. Exhale, come on back down. Inhale, bring the legs up overhead and come into our legs up the wall. Point and flex the toes. And I like legs up the wall in evening practice. If you choose to come all the way up into your shoulder stand, if that's part of your regular practice, of course, do what you're comfortable with. Tonight, though, maybe you hold with me and legs up the wall. And we simply breathe into it. Feel the breath. Bring our knees into our chest. Give ourselves a hug. Gently stretch ourselves all the way out on the mat. Now, tonight, in coming into a deeper meditation, we're going to try something a little bit different and we're going to make a fist and tense every muscle in the body. Tense, 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 tense. And then all at once, take a great big audible sigh. Ha! <sighs> and feel every muscle melt into the neck. Gently coming into our Savasana. I'm beaming Reiki out. You can ask for the Reiki energy to come to you. Or you can ask for the Reiki energy to simply pass you by. Feeling the breath. Taking a great big inhale in. Gently turn our head from left to right and right to left. Now bring our head back to center and only moving our eye muscles. Bring our eyes to the right Bring our eyes back through center to the left. Look up to the ceiling, look down to the mat. Look to the right, the left, the ceiling, the mat. The right, the left, the ceiling, the mat. Right, left, ceiling, mat. Close our eyes, rub our hands together. Gently let our hands hover over our face. 
Remember, my grandfather told me, never touch your face, you'll get a wart. Since the time I was three, he drilled it into me. Now gently bring our hands back down, open our eyes one more time. This time, we're going to bring the eyes to the left, the right, the floor, the ceiling, the left, the right, the floor, the ceiling, the left, the right, the floor, the ceiling, left, the right, the floor, the ceiling. One more time. Left to right, the floor to ceiling. Close our eyes. Rub our hands together. Gently covering our eyes. Bringing our hands all the way up overhead. Bringing our knees into our chest. Gently giving ourselves a hug. Gently roll over onto the right side. Pausing and thanking ourselves for our practice. Gently pushing ourselves up one vertebrae at a time. Mona's still here. I just um, kept her out so that we could light a candle tonight. And some of you in class, we've done the candle meditation. And if you have a candle at home, maybe you can choose to light your candle as well. And years ago, I read a yoga book that said to meditate, you stare at a candle. Later, I read another meditation book that said, oh, that's a very advanced practice. But what I learned is when we stare directly at the candle, and you can see the wick and then there's that white part and then it turns a haze and then it has that bright yellow and then sometimes there's like an aura around the candle sometimes you get little whiffs of smoke and if you look at that flame and hands to heart center and focus And remember what that flame looks like. And then when you close your eyes, can you see the imprint of the flame in your third eye as you look up into your third eye and see the wick and that clear blue place that's the hottest next to the wick. And then there's that pale yellow and then the intense part and then the outer edge of the flame and the smoke. Bringing our hands to heart center. May the light within me salute the light within you. And when we are at this place, we are all the same. Namaste. Be happy, safe, and healthy until we meet again. I'm going to get the computer and bring you down so that I can see you. My phone is way too old for all this. <clears throat> and gently coming down on the mat. Cindy, good to see you. Ethel. Dorothy, Nina, 
Linda. Sharon. Keith. Jennifer. Amy, Wendy, good to see you. Patty, good to see you. Good to see you, kids. Okay, so I will FaceTime you after so you can see Luna if you want. Anthony, good to see you. Evelyn, good to see you. Steve, good to see you. Let me scroll down somewhere here. Renee, good to see you. Nanette, good to see you. It's not raining. It's, but it's not raining. Linda, good to see you. Tomorrow night I'm going to do um, some chair for the my gentle people. Um, and then Thursday night we're going to move and groove again. So be happy, safe, and healthy until we meet again at the moment um realizing that plans change john lennon said life is what happens while you're making plans um anyway something to that sort and those of you who know him Anyway, thank you all and good night. I'll talk to you later.